oh man i know i said season one and season two it's no season two season three just are my favorite the season two is my favorite i know i said that i know season three is my favorite i said that i lied um the reason is i haven't watched the show in years honestly being honest here i haven't watched the show in its entirety i've always watched a season eight of the last years from 12 um because there was like four or five years in between and the first seven season i watched them so often i like to focus on a new one so watching these made back so many memories um season four i want to say it's my favorite but growing up with the show i grew up to love the character and the people behind them and one of them is jim Leahy. you know i really care about the character uh, you can hate him or love him but he is part of the trailer park boy universe and this season is really is ascended to madness um you know, it, it's funny because in the later, later season, he's less of an... Well, he's still an asshole, but still. Uh, but when you when you hear him in his podcast, I even listen to this podcast. Yes. By the way, there's two podcasts. There's the Jim Leahy show. Uh, Jim Leahy died. Uh, John Dunworth, the actor, died, unfortunately. And the Trailer Park Boys episode. Um, they come out every week. And that's the reason why I haven't watched the um, the old episode. I don't even watch a new one. I love the show once again. But I get a podcast every year. They've been doing it since 2015. Um, I'm, good, I'm not sure if you're good in math, but I am. And that's eight years. Um, eight years. Years, let's say 52 episodes that is uh 410 episodes of 20 minutes each that's 205 hours uh, if you're working like me a job of 40 hours a week that is five week of work quick match right so again the show um in this very episode i know i went off track but let's focus on episode because season four episode two is something that's so, so worth talking about man gotta eat this Season 4, I feel like it has some of the most memorable moment, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I mean. Uh, Men's Gotta Eat is something that's timeless, it's something that's never gonna get old. Rub, rub, tiggy, zog. They say they float right after something that you're never gonna forget. Um, even the fourth episode with Conky, with Steve French. Phenomenal. Um, so yeah, so this episode is about, uh, and the last episode, Julian understood that Ricky was using his name for a credit card. He was in a big trouble. The first the episode starts with basically um people on the on the roof throwing satellite off and yeah, it's a shit show. And then Julian's like, yo, this is so much problem, I have to leave. This is this is not safe for me, right? And then um Ricky's like, No, stay, stay, stay. Um I told you guys that the uh, Leahy and Randy weren't living in the uh, park anymore. And it's in a, in a trailer anymore because the trailer was super valid trailer. Um, they called the cops on Ricky and Ricky was pissed at him, at them. So what he did was he took the car, they gave it to Julian. He gave also a barrel switch, which is an alcohol, a very strong alcohol. So Julian's like, yo, I'm gonna take the car. I'm going to go in the background of Donaire. And he becomes kind of homeless, right? Because he doesn't want to live in the park. And he understand that if he's homeless, all the credit cards are going to just leave him. Right? If he doesn't have anything, he cannot take anything. And it's the mentality of somebody who's in debt. Um, this episode is really fucking good because this is about, uh, man gotta eat. Oh man, oh man, this is such a, I get emotional talking about it because it's such an important show for me. Um, you know, oh man, it's how Julian wants to be homeless. It's about how Randy is tired of Leahy because Leahy is drunk and he's the reason why they don't have a home. He's the reason why... Uh, they don't, they can't eat because they're poor. So when he, he got he, he's gonna go prostitution because he's love he loves his cheeseburger. That's one of a character of um Randy. We know it since season two when uh we had the Bible Pimp episode where J Rock was making fun of the fact that he ate fifteen burgers in one sitting. Um, so yeah, that's a recurring joke. Uh, what recurring joke can be annoying. Recurring joke, can, recurring joke can also lead to. People being, oh, yo, yo, I know this insight, and that's kind of cool, right? Um, so, yeah, so, uh, again, focusing on the show, uh, Randy goes to prostitute, and that's where the name of the show comes from. He's like, oh, you're hooking up for burger. Uh, Julian said that to, to Randy, making fun of him, and Randy's like, yo, a man's got to eat. And it's funny because Julian can say whatever he wants, but he's homeless too, and he's eating fucking leftovers, so... You know, uh, there's also a really, oh my God, this episode is insane. So I told you guys that, um, oh my God, I could think about this episode for hours, bro. Men Gotta Eat is legendary, is fucking memorable, it's memorable. Um, 
that Julie, uh, Bubbles was involved into Ricky shit and Julian is mad at Bubbles because he's involved with Ricky and Bubbles, he doesn't want to get too involved with Ricky. We, le we learned that he was trying to stop Ricky from spending too much, from fucking up too much, but it went too quick for him and they got high, high, high and drunk, uh, drunk and on, drunk and on drug, one of their show. I'm not going to review that show because I don't like it. Um... And, and yeah, uh, <laughs> and they're, they're fighting, and uh, there's really, oh man, I know why I shouldn't talk about scene by scene, but I have to here, I just have to, uh, we got uh, Bubbles, who um, <laughs> gets mad at, uh, at Ricky, and he tells him to stick it up his ass, right, and they get into a fight, and it's funny because there's a, there's a, there's a moment where Bubbles, he tells the camera guy, he said, yo, I told him to stick it up his ass, and he didn't even do it. I didn't even understand what I was talking about, right? So that's kind of cool. Uh, they fight over um, uh, Ricky, a fires bubble, and uh, don't worry, the fight doesn't last long. The fight is solved in the same episode. So if you want the boys to be together, the boys are being together for forever. And um, yeah, so it's kind of cool because uh, by firing him, uh, Bubble will say, I want my money, and Ricky doesn't have his money. So this is this amazing scene, this fucking masterpiece where Bubble, uh, Ricky is eating chicken chips, Bubble takes them, and uh, he says, Oh, well, you're not gonna pay me, I'm gonna take a bag of uh, a handful of chips. And he takes as big as he can, and, and Ricky's like, Yo, that's too much. Um, you have to put back those a half. So <laughs> instead, Bubble takes some more. And it's such an amazing feeling because um, Bubble, after that, he's like, he's talking to the camera once again and said, uh, Those are chicken chips. I don't even like chicken chips, but I won't give a fuck. He owes me money. So, yeah, so again, super episode. At the very end, uh, we get back to the trailer. Everything is good. Julian come back. Um, we meet Erica Miller, which is a undercover prostitute. And she, she really sent him back. Um, so, yeah, so it's a really good episode. Um, and, yeah. I love you guys, peace.